when modeling in 3D Studio Max, I always tell my students to start low poly. If you immediately subdivide a mesh like this, for example, using Turbo Smooth, then convert it to an editable poly, as we have here. I did this earlier. It's very complex already. It's not that high poly, but it's starting to get complex. You know, and you can still select contours, but it, it's very difficult to edit the overall shape. Think of it if you're making a clay model or a wooden model in reality or a sculpture. If you start off with less details, you can then easily move the main structures around. If you immediately start detailing, then as you can see, it's very difficult to select, you know, areas and move it around. So my advice to you and many other people say this is start low poly, go high poly. With low poly, remember to keep the original mesh. So if you advance the polygons, then you have the original mesh to go back to or if you make or if you make a mistake you can go back to it as well you can reverse a high poly back to a low poly, poly not poly poly by using the conform tools in the sense that i mean you can create a low poly proxy over this and then use the conform tools but as I say, the best thing is to do the low poly to high poly. Okay, hope this helped and check out my website www.jamesableart for my artwork and more tutorials or check out this YouTube channel and subscribe. Cheers, speak later, bye.